Astrology says Amal and George Clooney are in a rough transition or in. Ice Me, 2020 has been an absolute train wreck. It's hit people hard emotionally, financially, physically, and now cosmically. The planets aren't giving anyone a break, and some relationships are getting the brunt of the impact, including George and Amal Clooney's. George and Amal are both going through some rough transits, says intuitive astrologer Rachel Lang. Translation, the planets in their charts are undergoing major shifts. It began in January and will last until the end of the year. Saturn, the planet of restriction and limitation, has been transiting over George's moon, natal Saturn, and Amal's Mercury, the planets that rule emotions, decision-making, and communication respectively she says. And if that wasn't enough, Saturn's also now opposing the Mars Mars, which controls passion. Those transits can mean frustrations, delays in plans, arguments about the home and family, and tests of faith, says Lang. It's not all bad, though. While 2020 is certainly testing them, it's also the reason Amal and George are still together. And once they push past these next two months, after which Saturn will cut them some slack, they'll be back on track in more ways than one. Since they met in 2013, Amal's sun has shined its light on George's Jupiter, the most expansive and optimistic planet in his chart. As a result, they've always felt invincible together. So, let this inspire you to hang tight for better and brighter times. Here's every upside Amal and George Clooney can look forward to. The sun continues to create a dynamic tension between Amal and George. Don't let the word tension trip you up. Lang assures it's a good thing. It shows the couple can challenge one another and grow together, she explains. Because Amal's sun is in Aquarius and George's is in Taurus, two fixed signs, that makes them both pretty stubborn people. But, because these suns are in at a 90 degree angle from each other, Lang nodes Amal and George can easily overcome their differences by seeing things from their partner's perspective. They stretch one another beyond their comfort level, and this aspect can indicate passion and chemistry, she says. The sun also factors into the couple's attraction to each other. Amal's Venus is also at a 90-degree angle from George's sun. The placement of these planets indicates Amal and George are friends as well as lovers. Uranus is the reason Amal keeps George on his toes. Amal, likely intrigued, George, when they first met, says Lang. Amal's Uranus, which rules change and excitement, sits opposite George's son. Since day one, she's helped expand George's mind. There's a good chance that, at the start, George couldn't quite figure Amal out and he liked that, says Lang. As he tried to get on her level. He grew to admire her individuality and took greater pride in his own senses of freedom and independence. This influence, says Lang, explains why this couple's never shied away from speaking their minds in an effort to make a difference. Thanks to Mercury, communication isn't usually a hang-up for this couple. Amal's Mercury, which rules communication, is in very, very complementary position relative George's moon which rules his emotions, they excel at expressing themselves to each other. This is a favorable aspect for a couple raising children together and working toward shared goals. There's a sense of empathy in this relationship, Lang says. But it's not that's not to say healthy communication comes easy. They have to work at it just like everyone else. It's likely that Amal is careful with her words, because George can be stubborn at times. And while it can be challenging to make sure they're both heard and understood, because George and Amal have long worked at it, communications become the glue that keeps them together for the long haul, says Lang.